What is going on guys, it's Death here and we're back with another video for Red Dead Online. In this one we're going to be showing you how to turn yourself into a buck or summon a ghost buck into the camp. This is a new addition to the game that comes with the naturalist role. In order to do this you must be level 5 and own the naturalist role. Once you have these things you will come and talk to Harriet and she will begin a cutscene. In this cutscene she will pretty much tell you that you gotta be one with the animal and in order to do this you pretty much gotta turn into them. She will give you a tonic and as we know Harriet tonics are rather suspicious so I would advise to take this with caution. After you take the tonic she will also give you the pamphlet so you can actually learn the recipe to turn yourself into the buck. For this you need 5 plants, the Harrietum officinalis. I recently dropped a video with 10 locations to these plants so make sure you go out of your way and you pick them up. As I said you need 5 of them in order to turn yourself into the buck. After you pick up the 5 plants you will have to come to this location right here. It is the only place available on the map where you will be able to turn into the buck and it's also the area where you will be stuck as the buck. You cannot go and roam the rest of the world as the buck which kinda sucks but the fact that we can still turn into a buck here with our friends and have some fun is pretty interesting it's a random but fun addition to the game so you wanna make sure you come to Little Creek and it has to be in this location right here once you're here you will see the footprints to the buck on the ground make sure you come up to them and you analyze or investigate them you have to make sure you have five plants in your inventory otherwise you will not be able to turn yourself into the buck so now that we've checked that we do have 5 plans, you will want to get close to the tree. At this point you will get the option to inspect the footprints on the ground which will trigger a cutscene. This cutscene will have you thinking or hallucinating that you're a buck. I don't really know if you actually turn into one or if you're just foaming out the mouth on the ground believing you're a buck. Nonetheless what happens at this point after the cutscene is that you wake up and you're a buck. At this point you'll be able to run all over the place, you'll be able to tackle other animals, you'll be able to tackle other players. The one thing you cannot do is jump which is really weird. I would like the ability to jump. Nonetheless being a buck it's kind of fun. I'm surprised that something so simple, random and out of the way could actually be so entertaining. I can't wait to see other animals like a bear, maybe a smaller animal or even a flying animal would be pretty dope to get to see or experience the game in a very different manner and while I know right now this is rather simple in the grand scheme of things is rather fun now if you get too far away from the area where you're actually turned into the buck you will lose your connection with the buck but if you extend your connection with the buck you can eat one more plant and get a little bit of extra time to play as the buck once the duration of your time is over you will see this small cutscene and you will revert back to a human Overall, a rather interesting and fun addition to the game, but it's not over yet. If you come over to your camp at nighttime, it has to be at nighttime, and you have some Harrietum officinalis plants in your inventory, and you sit down to rest or craft by the fire, you will be able to burn some of these plants to summon a ghost buck. You will see it walk around the camp or just overall stand still while it eats or it just hangs out. But it's a pretty neat and interesting addition to the game, so why not? I found it to be pretty cool and pretty interesting. Like I said, I can't wait to see more of these things, and overall found this update to be a little better than last week. So nonetheless, I do hope you've enjoyed this video. Check out our playlist. We pretty much cover everything you got to know regarding Red Dead Online. And if you've enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that like button and subscribe, and I'll be seeing you all next time. Your boy Death Gun, out.